Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how Agile Point NX can integrate with Looprism Robotic Process Automation product. I'm going to use this scenario for today's demo where somebody comes in uh, on Agile Point platform and submits a new customer order. It captures all the credit card information alongside the order information and submits it to PayPal for authorization. If the payment is successful, then it creates a record for customer within Salesforce. Then it creates the corresponding order, posts a welcome message to the customer in the social feed, which is Salesforce Chatter in this case, and eventually it will invoke a robot. So the scenario I have used over here is that oftentimes companies have a legacy order management system. So even though they might have moved to a newer order management system, which is NetSuite or Salesforce, they still might be maintaining an older system and suppose this company has an win form based order management system which needs to be kept in sync the order details need to be passed so what this robot does is it takes the information from agile point and inserts it into that legacy win form application which doesn't have an api and then the process is ended now on the blue prism side if you go to the studio over here I have defined two things over here. So first thing is a business object. Business object in Blue Prism is your interface to any application. So for example, if I have to connect to a WinForm application and you need to create a business object, it has three main stages. Launch, in which I launch my EXE. Here is the WinForm application I'm going to use to simulate a legacy system. So it captures my order detail and customer detail. So I'm going to launch this EXE. I first check that this uh, has been launched properly or not. If not, it throws an exception. Then this is the main part of it where it I have defined a whole bunch of variables which matches the field names defined on my WinForm. It checks that the WinForm is properly invoked and if it is there, then it goes and writes those values into the WinForm. So you see that there are these elements, form elements they have been mapped to my variables. And at the end, we perform the cleanup logic where we close the WinForm application. For the sake of demo, I introduced a five second delay so that we can see what's happening on the WinForm. Now that's on the business object side. Similarly, you have to define a business process and uh, blue prism it has a similar kind of logic where i have the same kind of variables defined over here which are equivalent to fields on my form i have exposed parameters so that when agile point calls blue prism it can pass in the values of these fields and they are mapped to my variables i call the launch stage or launch action of my business object over here so i have a Remember the customer order business management, uh, customer order management business object has been selected and it has three stages which have been exposed and I selected the launch stage. In the next stage, I map it to the add order action and I map all the input, uh, the parameters to the variables which I have. And finally, I perform the cleanup logic by calling the exit action. Now one thing we need to remember is if you go to settings over here before agile point can call it you go to exposure under processes you can expose a process you can select any process which you want to expose say for example this one one thing is blue prism exposes its entire web service interface in both document encoding as well as rpc encoding so you have to select the Enforce document literal encoding over here and click finish. Now, once you do that, Blue Prism exposes its uh, web services on port 80, 8181 on that machine. So the address is whatever is your machine name, 8181 slash WS. And you can see uh, the various visitors which are available. The one which we are interested in consuming today is customer order management. This one. Now switching back to Agile Point, the first step which you can do is you can define a 
access token. So let's see what we what I have done over here on the robot activity. So before I do that, if you go to the blue prism stencil, you can see invoke robot activity over here. It can invoke any kind of blue prism robot and even call a business object directly. So the first thing you do is do you define your connection to blue prism. So I'm going to actually define a new connection so that you guys can see. I can enter a new token name. The first decision point is whether it would be a process service URL which you are consuming or are you directly con uh, connecting to a business object. For our scenario we are going to connect to a process service which has been exposed as a web service. I'm going to enter my blue prism credentials over here. connection. It is connected this way. I'm going to go back to the main window because I already have created a connection. The moment you select that connection, it brings down the web methods available within that service and you can perform your mapping over here. You can you can just say that I want to map customer name to or you can just do auto map over here and then whatever is remaining customer name to customer name and I have a field called total which will go into amount. So it mapped all the matching names automatically and I just met, uh, mapped the other two which were remaining. And if there are any return parameters, you can map those as well. In my case, there is no return parameter. So I can go ahead and click finish and my model is ready to consume. So if once you uh, publish this model out, let's go ahead and see this at runtime. I'm going to kick off a new customer order management workflow from my work center. I'm going to say customer name is John Smith. It's an existing customer. So the moment I select it, it prefills all the information from Salesforce on my form. So it brought down all the information. It's all coming from Salesforce, as I said in my demo. Then it brings down all the past order history. It says, okay, I want to place a new order for a recliner sofa. I can look up the unit price as well. I skip that for the demo. I'm going to enter my credit card information over here. This is just a test credit card, so I'm going to enter some information. And click submit. Now let's look at the processes I started tab within Agile Point Work Center. So I see there is a workflow which is running. Let's look at the runtime version of this. So as you can see, it has gone through payment authorization. It entered all the data and it invoked my robot. All the data from Agile Point has been entered into the wind form and the robot got closed as well. If you see over here, it will mark the step as completed and send out the notification. So as you saw in the process, it took the data, passed it on to the robot, robot did its processing and then completed the workflow. Now Blue Prism also provides one more functionality that you can, because it is being exposed as a web service, it doesn't have to be invoked through the process. I could invoke a web services through the form as well. So I have a very simple demo over here. Blue Prism out of the box in their uh, training manuals gives uh, a, a sample service which is uh, which is uh, from uh, based on the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs story. So you, you enter the name of one of the dwarf and it gives a corresponding fruit name, right? So it is exposed as a web service. So if I go back over here, so there is a favorite fruit lookup service. So what do you, they do is which dwarf's name has been entered. So I'm going to enter say Grumpy over here and Grumpy's favorite fruit is Kiwi. So this has been exposed as a web service. It doesn't enter any data on the on the wind form or anything. It's just going to act as a web service which I might be connecting to some other legacy system. Okay, so let's see how this has, can be configured. So I have another application over here. So I'm going to open the form. It's quite simple. I would have one input and one output. So 
I have a field where I would enter the dwarf's name and uh, the return result would be shown over here. Um, I'll show you the configuration. So you go to auto, uh, you drag and drop an auto lookup field. And if you see here is my lookup. So I again did the same thing. I, I created an access token. If I go back over here, I created an access token in the same way as I did for process. I said, I want to retrieve a column. Here is the service which I want to connect to. Parse in whatever information I enter in the dwarf name uh, column in my form field to the web service input. And in the response, it sends me back the favorite fruit and store it in text box form. So let's see this. Once it has been all wired up, let's just enter, say, Rumpy. It calls Blue Prism behind the scene and the web service gave me back the result which is Kiwis over here. So I say bash4 gets me the different fruit. So it's just a, way of, a quick way of showing that you can even call a Blue Prism service from Agile Point Form. So if you go back over here and if I show you the configuration once more, let's define a new one. You see one of the lookup types is Blue Prism. So you can interface with Blue Prism both at process as well as form level. Thanks a lot for your time.